The Angry Llama is made for adults who enjoy honest crafts, cutting reviews when we're talking fucking llama. Sensitive bipeds need not apply. What you gotta know about Dread Jin is he is one of the founding members of the farm. That's right, he's even helping us save up money for the streaming gaming machine. Thank you for the donation. It's the very least I can do is put your video to the top of the list. Thank you so much. Anyone else who feels like supporting the farm, no worries. We get your video to the top of the list. It seems like the least we can do for you trying to help us get live streaming gaming machine. It would be so exciting. I'm going to do live stream at the farm, live VOD reviews, live this, live that. I might even skin a baby seal. <laughs> I won't do that. Yet. Hmm? Hey, you what, friends? If nobody comes down and buys a car for me in the next hour, I'm going to club this baby seal. That's right. I'm going to club and seal and make a better deal. No, I'll do it. It is from the Xbox. It is Dredgin on his 2175 Amoira. We're going to check him out and see if we can't help him climb up to the Platinum. I think we can. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we're on board with Dredgin. He is a Moira, and this is Logo. All right, let's see. Uh, I, I didn't like you up there by yourself. Uh, you caught a little bit of... Damage there, let's see how you do. Alright, you're a little face fucking now. A little, uh, uh, easy, easy on the. No, 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 no. Take it. Hey, hey, hey. You have to remember that it heals for 70 immediately. Just a tappy tappy. And then it will heal them for another 35. So you tap people and it's gonna heal them for 100. Right? So what does Tracer have for health? 200? 150? Like, uh, Widowmaker, 175? Reaper, 225, 250, something like that. So, like, you're literally half their health by just tap. Just tap once. Beep. The uh, biggest problem, I would say, with people not being able to climb on Moira is resource management. They say, well, I'm out of healing, so no big deal. Uh, that's not my fault. But really, uh, the overhealing that Moira does is out of control. It would be amazing to actually have that statistic to know, but fucking Blizzard, uh, or Overwatch, rather, Feels like hiding data is better than anything. Okay, good heal, good heal. Yeah, you got to recharge. Let's get in there, get some cleanup, get some re what? All right, that's fine, that's fine. Relax. No, what are you doing, dude? Don't do that. Don't ever do that. That was so not valuable for you. You guys, it, it kind of blows my mind. Like, you ever play billiards or pool? Like, the orb is a lot like that. Like, you don't have to face fuck people to hand them an orb. Dude, you just have to, like, bounce it. Like, I'll never understand people with their Moira and the, not the bouncing. It's like half of the fun is knowing the bounces. So instead of going up here, Dredgin, and saying, Hello, everybody! I was thinking about just coming over saying hello and maybe face fucking a bunch of right clicks. Are you down with that? Hello, hello? No, instead of that, you don't have to say hello. You can send your orb. It's like a carrier pigeon. It's a message from you. It's like a fuck you. Here we go. Boop. And you send it. Not bad, right? And I didn't have to face fuck nothing. And I'm still in position. And I'm doing my job. I wish you were doing that, Dredgin. What, like, you love healing shit that doesn't need healing. My god, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm alright with that ultimate because you get... Listen, a lot of times people will save their ultimates, right? But what's kind of cool is a Moira gets her ultimate so much faster than everybody. So you can win an entire team fight by being the early engaging coalescence. But remember, when we're going to do an early engage coalescence, we're doing that. Why? We're not countering ultimate. We're doing it to engage and win a team fight. So make sure you throw your damage orb and then coalesce. It is a huge amount of damage and it's hard to deal with. And I like you opening up with this, um, but I don't understand that you're not going on the attack. You like popped it for- Well, hello. Now we have a place to call the farm. You can't stop by and eat the hay bales. But now we've got the discord where the llama is there, the farmer is there, there are foremen and farmhands, and even a few alpacas. Why don't you join us on the Discord, have some fun with the llama, and see what the farm is all about.
or what? Kind of go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, okay, good. Now go up there and give them a damage orb. Okay, cool. Dude, you don't always have to be hitting a button. Tap. Oh, that was a very nice tap. You finally did the tap. Don't stand there. That was fine, but you didn't. Did you see that again? Like, you didn't have to be in that closet. To, like, you keep thinking you need to see sight lines to send an orb. Cut the shit. Your orb can do stuff without you seeing. You're standing here. You literally go, I'm going to send an orb. Derp. Derp. I love people like you. I shoot them. I five orb the fuck out of little minis like that. But all you could have done is this instead. Boing. 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 You know, but that's not what you fucking did, you fucking face tank. Stop it! And stop healing full health people, my god, man! Cut it out, you're killing me! If there was an overheal, I bet you'd be at 70%. That, that was good of you to get out of the way of that. Let's support our hog, because it's hard to live during that. Yeah, you're helping on damage, which is fine, because there's really nothing going on. Fine. Maybe you could heal your team now. I'm under attack. Dude. You're losing. You just lost your main healer. You lost your main tank. Well, your... Your hog has been acting like your main tank at least. Now we have a Sigma. I don't know if we had one before. But dude, like, you just sat in that grab forever. Like, just, just know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Like, you did a bit of damage, but you're not going to get the kill. Go heal your team. They're... They're fucking you up, dude. Yeah, you kind of fucked up there. You went damage when you should have been healing, and you keep healing when you don't need to. Those are two large problems. So, first post-it note, stop overhealing. Second post-it note, use orbs playing Geometry Wars. Use, use, you bounce your orbs, that's what I want. Bounce your orbs. Stop face-fucking them. Why don't we do with that Sigma, see if we can't enable him from dying good. Stop it! Alright, so your team is just about to engage, right? And they're going in small spaces and you damage orb. I wouldn't have. I, I would have saved my healing orb. Are you kidding me? Your team was in a grab. And they were barely making out of there. And you're like, I'll throw a damage orb? Dude, like, as soon as people get grabbed, you just hold down the healing button. Hold it down. Just... Put an orb in them. But uh, not, you know, just go fuck off and do your own thing. Uh, this ultimate you popped because it was up. Not because you made a good decision to do so. You can't just pop... Listen... You're in low gold, you would expect that you're not popping your ultimate on cooldown, but this is what I see. And that's not usually okay. I like how you're playing this angle. What is... Man... I'm pretty sure you're just healing orb a, um... A hog that was anti-nated. Yeah, well, your Sigma's always out of position, and that's a bit annoying. Time to heal! Yeah, you are not keeping your other healer up. He's getting his lily ass kicked. Damage over him! What are you doing? Like, he wasn't even paying attention to... Everything about that was wrong. Do you want to climb with the llama? Then you got to join the farm! Only 30% of the llama's viewers are subscribed. What horror! How can you expect to climb without the llama's daily father of you? Okay, hit your hooves on that sub button. We'll continue like none of this ever happened. Let's take that a little slower just so you guys can really see what an engage and kind of a thought process might look like. Okay, we're going to rewind it. We'll go 20 seconds. We won't need it. We will slow it down. And let's hit the play. Okay, your Sigma dies out of position, whatever. Here comes McCree on our right side. And McCree's gonna start taking some pot shots. I tell you to start healing. Um, McCree takes pot shots, kills that. Okay, and stop. Well, stop. Okay. We've got a couple options. 
Right now, you don't have your orb up, so let's see what happens. You back up from him. Good. Okay, cool. But now you feel like you've got your orb back. You've got your McCree, and you almost have your fade. Let's see what you do. I would be orbing right now. Bounce it right off that thing behind him. Okay, so I would have... Uh, listen. I would have bounced the orb. I don't like the noises right now. It's very annoying. Boom. All right, pause. Pause more. Okay, dude. Like, you're back here, right? And you're about to throw your orb? You should throw your orb up against this thing right here. Boom. So it hits him. It slows down. Oh, it's still hitting him. And as he's trying to peel this way, which you know he will, it just follows him. What you do instead is you shoot an orb past him for some fucking reason. But let's get back into it. Now, this is the craziest part. What is McCree known for? A flashbang, right? What do you... You don't have to be in flashbang range, but you literally walk up to him and flashbang range him. It's so weird. Like, you didn't have to do that at all. I like that you save your fade for it, but that's not... Like, yeah, all of that was just crazy. And stop healing things that don't need healing! Oh my god, Jin, you're fucking killing me, dude. Oh, you see that orb? That was nice. It ate up, uh, yeah, okay, okay. You might want to support him since he's really flanking hard. I'm a little nervous for that. What? Do you think this... That is literally the least effective thing you could do right now. Dude, don't worry about ball. Not your job. Not ever your job. Not ever your job. There it is. It's not ever your job. You're a Moira. You can't do shit to ball. Your job is to make sure everyone else is staying healed, people on the flanker. You're literally DPSing ball. Like, what the fuck, dude? Ugh. You know, honestly, some of these decisions are fucking with me, man. Like... You don't have fade, so maybe, maybe don't sit in front of him. You have an orb up, why aren't we doing something? You use it on the goddamn Zarya. You need better target selection. Like, you are just face-fucking whatever's in front of you and going to town. Um, stop it? It's a chess match. Do you move your pawns forward and attack everything that you see? No, you set them up, right? And then you use some big guns, right? That kind of stuff? It's the same thing here, dude. Stop just DPSing everything. Like, use your cooldowns to solve problems. If I had a damage orb right now, and I knew the McCree was up there, that would be my problem, because I know that orb is going to be in a tight space with him. It's going to make him jump down. He's either going to jump down or back way the hell up, but either way, he's out of the fight. What do you do? You throw it at the Zarya? Come on, man. Stop healing things that don't need healing. Surrender. No, so, alright, so, you're just about to coalescence, which is like a gajillion per second healing. Uh, let's look it up, actually. What is it? Coalescence heals for 140 per second. So that's about half as good as trance, and you have to hit them with it, but okay. Uh, and it also damages for 70 per second. Um, I would have realized that my 140 per second would heal my team up, because they were not low at all, and I would have used the damage orb to maximize my impact. See what you do. No. Like, just because your orb is on cooldown, it doesn't mean you need to use it. Like, there's a Reaper in your miss. The team is coming. Just hold on to your orb for a sec, dude. Like, you might fucking need it. Heal, there's gonna be lots of mines, right? Oi. You don't cut a whole lot of angles either, you you little bit face tank. I want you to also make sure listen, this is it. Like I've seen so much that um one, I'm impressed you're in gold. Like a lot of these I have seen Moira's at lower levels, um, 
with with better game sense. But maybe it's your mechanics that keep you right. I don't know. But you're not bouncing your orbs. You're uh, not cutting great angles. You're a bit face tanky, to be honest. Um, and uh, you're not letting the tanks be in front of you, right? And uh, you are damaging and healing at weird times. You need to respect your cooldowns a little more. There is a lot to work on, Dredgen. But what? check this out. I know this is a little disheartening, right? The llama is shitting all over you. Sorry about that. But uh, what I do see in your play is, like, if you got to gold with all of these mistakes, like, you're going to climb, dude. Like, whatever you're doing is working. Um, you're at least average, right? Low gold, great. Um, but you're, you're making some very basic um, game decision mistakes that as soon as you clean these up, you know, just do one thing, one post-it note a week and clean up these problems. Send me another one in a month and I bet you climb your little ass off. I bet you do. I bet you do. Okay. Hey, again, I can't thank everyone enough. Like, uh, the channel it just keeps growing and growing and everyone's saying such nice things and everyone seems to be getting a lot of help from my videos and that makes me feel really good. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you and um, especially those who donated. Thanks a lot. That really helps. Um, it's pretty cool. I can't wait to get the streaming machine and be able to do live streams with the farm. That will be um, my highlight. Uh, I can't wait. Okay, everybody. Lama out. So, that's it. I am doing 90 videos in 90 days. Think about supporting your favorite livestock by sharing this video on your social medias. Consider subscribing and liking this video. And are you interested in submitting your gameplay or have a video you feel the llama must see? There are a number of ways to get the llama's attention. One, you can make a post over at my favorite learning community, r slash Overwatch University. Put something about the Lammer in the title and I will review your trash can gameplay. Two, you can put it in a comment below on this video. Remember to tell me your current SR, your story, your hero, and your replay code. And lastly, for all of you boomers, I also have the email. You can email me at angrylamareviews at gmail.com. Thank you for watching the video and for supporting the channel. Lama out.